Being an international student during this pandemic is already hard. Now amidst all these things, when they come up with a subject like the Maths 116, also known as Calculus 2, which is pretty much known as being one of the hardest, if not the hardest, undergraduate maths course in University of Michigan. And you might be wondering that this is just 116, Calculus 2, there is Calculus 3, there are the other discrete mathematics available, but it has been said that the examinations of this particular examination is probably one of the hardest. So my midterm results basically came out and I have four subjects. Out of those four subjects, I received an A on Spanish, an A plus on Engineering 100, an A on my Engineering 110, and I think a probable B or C in my Calculus 2. And the mark is subjected to decrease, it's because the coming exams are gonna be way harder. So why is it happening? In this particular exam, I think 25% comes from your team homeworks, web works, and all the other quizzes and everything, whereas 75% comes from exam. My first exam was a disaster. I couldn't write anything that was coming in my mind. The first thing is the entire concept of online education is very tricky when it comes to examinations. A time-based examinations of maths, you have to do the paper first, you have to take pictures, upload it within a given amount of time, on grade scope, things get very difficult. But over the time, I have realized that First of all, I don't understand the things that they teach. The concepts are very easy, but whenever you solve the exam papers, you're like, these things were never taught in class. The textbook is pretty useless. You do not need to worry about reading the textbook because if you do, <laughs> there's no use of it. Anyways, this is just a disclaimer to everyone who's taking 116 in University of Michigan. This is my personal suggestion that it's better if you take the Calculus VC in the AP course of your high school and you get the credit for this class or what you can do is you can take this course from a community college. One of the prominent ones is the Oakland Community College in Michigan. I think they're gonna charge you like $150 per credits. And for in-state students, it's gonna be way easier. So take the exam there, take the course over there as a part-time student, and then convert the particular grade into your University of Michigan um, grade. And then it will be directly be into your transcript. So that's gonna be better because honestly, I tried my best. I did around 10 practice papers. I tried to do all the homeworks as per the schedule, but it did not work out. And do I believe myself? And do I believe myself? Of course not. I tried my best and, okay, is it in focus? Yeah, so I tried my best and it just did not work out. So this is a disclaimer for everyone who's joining college. College is difficult. Courses like this are gonna be difficult. This is to all the incoming freshmen of U of M that try to take credits for this particular class before you get it. Trust me when I say this, you're gonna find this advice very, very helpful in your coming future and I just wanna wish you best of luck. About U of M in particular, the atmosphere is crazy good. I am loving the friendship, the bond. The professors are probably really friendly. Uh, one of the most friendliest compared to the other university professors as per my friends um, and their opinions, but I'm loving it. The class has been extremely amazing and let's hope for the best. And just a news, my mom is recovering very greatly and I hope that she's gonna be home in the next two days. She's a strong woman, I told you guys. And also, I just wanted to end on a very positive note saying that if you really do bad in your first or a couple of examinations in college, it's fine, relax. Life is gonna be very difficult. There is gonna be peer pressure. Your parents are gonna be telling you, do good, do good. But at the end of the day, remember that it's you, it's your life, and grades are the least things that define you. It's something that has been discovered by someone else. It is something that has been proved by someone else. There is no point of learning other people's discoveries, memorizing them and implementing them in one piece of exam and then getting judged by that. So you're completely fine. Life is good. Just stick on with this college rules of passing the examinations. If you're doing good, that's crazy. If you're doing bad, relax. We are with you, especially I am with you. And stay funky, stay blessed, and be a part of the Disney Nation. Cheers.